Welcome to your intermediate vinyasa flow. This 45-minute flow will stretch and strengthen your whole body with extra love for your upper back. You don't need any equipment for today's class, but blocks are always optional. When you're ready, let's meet on all fours in a tabletop position. Let's come into a puppy pose. Walk your fingertips forward and keep your hips where they are as you begin to melt your heart down towards the earth. Forehead will eventually rest on your mat. Your hips are stacked over your knees so that your tailbone is lifting high. You can keep your arms extended or option to bend your elbows and bring your palms to touch in a prayer position behind your head. Feel that stretch across your shoulder blades. Take a few breaths here to settle into your body and settle into the four corners of your mat. And let go of whatever happened earlier today and just arrive here in this present moment. If you feel called to do so, take this time to send an intention or dedication for your practice. Why or for who did you step onto your mat for? Let's seal our intention with a cleansing breath. Deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, exhale. Release your hands to your mat. Then slide forward onto your belly. Chin can rest on your mat. Open your arms out to the side. Then plant your left hand underneath your left shoulder. Press into your left hand, then roll over to the right. Left knee bends and plant your left foot flat behind your right leg. Feel that stretch in the front of your right shoulder and continue to breathe. Slowly roll back to center, and we'll switch sides. Right hand underneath your right shoulder, then roll over to the left, plant your right foot down behind your left leg. Again, feel that stretch in the front of your left shoulder, as well as in your spine. Slowly roll back to center, then plant your left hand down underneath your shoulder. Press into your hands and then push yourself up and take a seat on your heels. If this hurts your knees, feel free to sit on your seat in a cross-legged position. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Begin to straighten your elbows and lift your arms up and away from your body. 
Feel that opening across your chest and feel your shoulders pull away from your ears. Perhaps notice if one shoulder feels higher than the other. Continue to breathe. Release your bind. Then give your arms a little shake. When you're ready, come onto all fours and we'll meet in a down dog. Take a few breaths here, feeling out your first down dog of class. Spread all 10 fingers out wide. And push your mat forward as you press your chest back towards your thighs. Walk your feet to your hands. Ragdoll pose. Feet go wide. Deep bend in your knees. Interlace your fingers behind your back and then reach your knuckles up towards the sky and then overhead towards the front of your mat. Feel that squeeze between your shoulder blades. Let the back of your neck relax, dropping the crown of your head to the earth. Release your bind, fingertips to the ground, then toe heel your feet together for a more comfortable position. Slowly roll up your spine. As you inhale, reach your arms high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Two more times. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, right arm down, left arm up and over. Side body stretch. Anchor down through the knife edge of your left foot. Inhale, come back to center, reach both arms high. Exhale, left arm down, right arm up and over. Again, feel that stretch from your right heel all the way to your right fingertips. Inhale, come back to center, reach both arms high. Exhale, bend your elbows, cactus your arms. Lean back slightly as you shine your heart upwards and squeeze underneath your glutes to press your hips more forward, creating a deeper back bend. Next inhale, straighten your spine, reach both arms high. Exhale, hinge from your hips, forward folds. Hands to your shins, half lift, breathe in. Hands to your mat, high plank, breathe out. Inhale, shift forward into your toes. Exhale, lower to your belly or halfway down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog.
Inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, walk or step, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, arms reach high. Exhale, side bend to your right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side bend to your left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, bend your elbows, cactus your arms. Inhale, back to center, straighten your spine. Exhale, forward folds. Half lift, breathe in. Chaturanga Dandasana, breathe out. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, walk, step, or hop, feet to hands. Half lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Mountain pose, inhale. Bend to your right, exhale. Back to center, inhale. Bend to your left, exhale. Center, breathe in. Cactus your arms, breathe out. Arms reach high, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Flat back, breathe in. Chaturanga Dandasana, breathe out. Up dog, shoulders down. Down dog, hips high. Right foot forward, warrior one. Invitation to step your left foot out a little bit wider so that you have more width and stability between your feet. One more inhale. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Exhale. Inhale, lift your heart. Reach your knuckles down. Find a little back bend. Exhale, hinge from your hips. Humble warrior. Take your chest halfway parallel to the ground. Or if you're able to, option to fold all the way in tucking your right shoulder to the inside of your right knee. Shift your hips to the left slightly so that your hips are square. On your next inhale, release your bind, warrior one. Exhale to open, warrior two. Flip your palms so that they're facing forward and then press your hands back to open your chest more. Flip your palms back down and then set your gaze towards your right middle finger. On your next inhale, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, feel that side body stretch. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog, breath in. 
down dog, breath out. Left foot forward, warrior one. Again, option to step your right foot out a little bit more so that you have more width and stability between your feet. Take another breath in. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale, lift your heart, reach your knuckles down. Exhale, hinge from your hips, humble warrior. Your chest is halfway down, or option to fold all the way down with your left shoulder tucked inside your left knee. Shift your hips over to the right slightly and press a little bit more weight into your right heel. Stay strong through your legs as you release your bind, arms to the sky, warrior one. Exhale to open, warrior two. Feel your shoulders relax and reach your pinkies back a little bit more. On your next inhale, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, reach up and back. Exhale, hands to your mat, Chaturanga Randasana. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. And let's sink that sequence through one breath per movement. Right foot forward, warrior one, breathe in. Interlace your fingers behind your back, breathe out. Lift your heart high, inhale. Hinge from your hips, humble warrior, exhale. Stay strong in your legs, warrior one, inhale. Open, warrior two, exhale. Flip your front palm, reverse, breath in. Hands to your mat, vinyasa. Down dog is where we'll meet. Left foot forward, warrior one. Inhale. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Exhale. Reach your knuckles down. Inhale. Hinge from your hips, humble warrior. Exhale. Arms to the sky, breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Flip your front palm, reverse. Inhale. Hands to your mat, vinyasa. Right side, warrior one, inhale. Hands behind your back, exhale. Find a little back bend, inhale. Humble warrior, exhale. Arms to the sky, breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Reverse warrior, inhale. Hands to your mat, vinyasa.
Left side, warrior one, breathe in. Hands behind your back, breathe out. Lift your heart, inhale. Hinge from your hips, exhale. Arms reach high, inhale. Strong warrior two, exhale. Reverse your warrior, inhale. Hands to your mat, vinyasa. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. Stay or option to flip your dog. Flip dog, reach your right foot over to the left. Then plant it down, both knees are bent 90 degrees. Root down through your feet, lift your hips high, breathe. Inhale, come back to your three-legged dog, right leg high. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, shift forward and tap. Right leg high, inhale. Right knee, left elbow, exhale. Right leg high, inhale. Knee to your nose, exhale, hold. Dome your upper back, maybe give your knee a little kiss. Step your right foot in between your hands, crescent, lunge. One inhale. Open arm twist to your right, exhale. Left hand forward, right hand back. Notice how your hips are still facing forward. You're just twisting from your upper back. Inhale, come back to center, both arms high. Exhale, open arm twist to your right. Back to center, inhale. Twist to your right, exhale. Back to center, inhale. Twist to your right, exhale. Inhale, flip your front palm. And reach your left arm up and back. Find a little back bend. Exhale, revolved half moon. Left hand down. Left foot lifts. You can bring your hands to the floor or to a block, whatever works best. This is not an easy shape, so be gentle with yourself. Fall out if you need to, without any judgment. Reach the crown of your head forward and keep your core engaged. Most importantly, stay present with your breath. Take one more inhale. Left foot down, chair pose, exhale. Stay for the inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Toe heel your feet out wide and wrap your peace fingers around your big toes. Find a halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, let it go, breathe out. Remind yourself of your intention or dedication. And how can you continue to honor it for the second half of class? Release your bind. And then heel your feet together. Hands to your shins, half lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. One more time, half lift, breathe in. Vinyasa, down dog is where we'll meet. Left leg high, inhale. 
Bend and open, exhale. Stay or option to flip. Flip dog, reach your left foot over to the right, then plant it down. Press out of your right hands and feel your heart shining. Inhale, come back to your three-legged dog, left leg high. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, shift forward and tap. Left leg high, inhale. Left knee, right elbow, exhale. Left leg high, inhale. Knee to your nose, exhale, hold. Give your knee a little smooch. And then step between your hands, crescent, lunge. One inhale. Open arm twist to your left. Exhale. Right hand forward, left hand back. Actively reach through all ten fingers towards opposite sides of the room. Inhale, come back to center. Reach both arms high. Exhale, open arm twist to your left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale to center. Exhale to twist. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, flip your front palm. Reach your right arm up and back. Exalted warrior. Exhale, revolve half moon. Right hand down. Right foot lifts. Right hand to a block or the floor, whatever works. Squeeze your right inner thigh to lift your right leg a little higher. Keep your core strong and breathe. Take one more inhale. Step your right foot down, chair pose, exhale. Stay for the inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Feet go wide, gorilla pose. Take your hands underneath your feet, toes to your wrists. Forward fold, let it go. Release your bind, and then toe heel your feet together. Half lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Chair pose. Lean into your toes, heels off your mat. Lower your hips down for five, four, three, Two and one. Come down onto your seat. Then lie all the way down on your back. We're getting ready to take two back bends today. So let's start with the bridge pose. Plant your feet flat on your mats. Knees are bent. Arms long by your side. Drive your feet down. Lift your hips high. Option to snuggle your shoulders underneath your body and interlace your fingers at your low back for an extra lift.
slowly lower it down from your upper back, middle back, and lower back. Second and final back bend. This time, option to take another bridge pose, or if you're ready for it, wheel pose. Wheel pose. Bring your hands by your ears, fingertips point down towards your shoulders. Plant your palms down flat on your mat, and you can even take your feet a little bit wider. Press into your hands and feet, and lift to the crown of your head to start. If you're feeling good, press into your hands and feet a little bit more. Your whole upper body lifts off your mat. You can walk your feet closer to your hands, directly underneath your knees for more stability. Wherever you are, bridge or wheel, be proud of your shape. Continue to breathe. Slowly lower it down. Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles together, knees apart. Left hand to your heart. Right hand to your belly. Feel your heartbeat under your left hand. And thank your body for taking you through today's practice. Take your hands to the outside of your thighs. Then draw your knees together. Rock yourself up onto your seat. Then meet me on all fours. Tuck your toes under. Down, we're facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, resting half pigeon. Make sure your right knee is in line with your hip. And take a little pause to lengthen your spine. Exhale, lower your forehead down to your mat. Be gentle and patient with any tightness you might be feeling here. Lift your upper body off your mat. And step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Option to lift your right leg high. Circle it out as you need to work out any kinks, any tightness. When you're ready, left side, resting half pigeon. Left knee in line with your hip. And take a little pause to lengthen your spine. Exhale, lower your forehead down to your mat.
Lift your upper body off your mat. And step your left foot back to downward facing dog. Again, option to lift your left leg high, stretch it out as you need. Walk your feet to your hands, then come down onto your bottom. Extend your legs long, then lie all the way down onto your mat. Keep your left leg long, draw your right knee in. Cross it over your body, gaze goes towards your right hand. Come back to center, and we'll switch sides. Left knee draws in, and cross it over your body, gaze to your left hand. Slowly come back to center, and then extend your left leg long on your mat. Spread your legs out wide, feet are relaxed. Arms long by your side, fingers are relaxed. Soften that space in between your eyebrows and drop the tip of your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Shavasana. I will call you out when it's time. Slowly begin to bring movement to your fingers and toes. And let's take a full body stretch. Reach your arms overhead and draw your legs closer together. Reach your fingers and toes in opposite directions to find a long body, full body stretch. Then roll on over to the right side of your body into a fetal position. Keep your eyes closed or heavy. Press up onto your seat and meet me in a seated position. Draw your hands to your heart and take a gentle bow. 
Thank you so much, my friend, for sharing your time and energy with me today. I see you and I am so grateful to have you here. Draw your thumbs to your third eye. May we bow together and share the word. Namaste. Namaste.